And that simp ass nigga and the rest of the niggas teach, man. Bunch of reprobates. Okay. So let me finish this off in Ezekiel and then wrap it up. Okay, Ezekiel 22. All right. Ezekiel 22, 17. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is, become, is to me become dross. Okay, that's that filthy madness that the, the, the impurities that be upon uh, precious metals before they be purified. Okay, it's all filthy and stuff. It has to be burnt off. All right, so that you can purify the gold and you can get it to the level you want it, or the silver or whatever metals. The dross is that filth that be on the outside, and then the inside it has to be purged out. It says, The house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Okay. That's right. The dross of silver. Alright. That furnace is talking about America, man. Okay. This is, well, it says silver. Okay. Jeremiah 6.30. Reprobate silver. Okay. Refuse silver or reprobate silver shall man call them because the Lord hath rejected them. Okay. The Lord hath rejected them, man. All right, he's coming to get the gold, which is the elect, not silver, iron, lead, tin, and brass, man, which is all inferior metals, all right, compared to gold. All right, all right, gold is more valuable, gold is more easily to be formed, all right, and is less resistant, okay, all right, unlike iron, lead, tin, brass, and, and and lead which is more hard all right to to work with and is of less value okay and and uh less value and glory okay it's not precious and there's plenty of that in in compared to gold fine gold all right so the lord compared you niggas to uh silver down to the the least inferior metal like tin okay all right so Ezekiel 22:18, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace, to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. What's that? Where he's planning on leaving you? He's going to leave you in that mind state, and he's going to leave you here physically, here in America, to get destroyed, man. Because the, the, the furnace, all right, the fiery furnace is talking about America, okay? That's right. That's right. Matthews. Matthews 13 and 40. It says, As therefore the tares are gathered and burnt in the fire, so shall it be at the end of this world or end of this age. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them that do which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There, sh there shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father, who have ears to hear, let them hear. That's right. All 
all right that's right Matthew 13 49 so shall it be at the end of this world at the end of the world the angels shall come forth and shall sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire there shall be welling and gnashing of teeth that's right so the Lord will make a separation between the elect and the two-thirds which polite and the unconscious niggas is part of that how you gonna make the separation he's gonna leave you here in the fire of the fire of the furnace of fire which is talking about America which is talking about this nuclear destruction all right of America which you don't believe will happen okay but you're gonna be part of it all right okay because the Lord said he's gonna leave you there and melt you man all right and the elect the one-third they're gonna be beamed up and, and taken in the chariots and protected from that they gonna see your destruction you fucking wicked ass nigga man Ezekiel 22 alright verse 20 as they gather silver brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow fire upon it to melt it so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury and I will leave you there and melt you yea I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. That's right. That's right. He's going to leave you niggas here. And he's going to melt you niggas, man. Okay. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Alright. That's right. Isaiah 9 and 19. Okay. That's when games is going to stop, man. Isaiah 9 and 18. It says, For wickedness burn as the fire. It shall devour the burrows and the thorns, and shall kindle in the, in the thickets of the forest, and they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. Therefore, oh, through the wrath of the Lord,